Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 3, part 175. And I'm in my Hyundai Genesis and painted it dark purple just to make it look different from the last time I drove it. I don't fucking know. But it is time for our next one make race, and it is the Hyundai Genesis Cup. Or Coupe, excuse me. Coupe Tour or Trophy, depending on if you're looking at the name or the, uh, the poster. So, six races in this thing. Still in D-Class cars, eh. but we're going to be going to New York Old. Hopefully I won't die into turn one 500 times this time. Uh, Suzuka, Maple Valley Reverse, because uphill at the start. Holy shit, I'm hiccuping these, this T. Uh, Road Atlanta, not America. Road Atlanta, I said it right this time. Motegi, and if my controller will cooperate, Maple Valley again. Because when you have the whole track list to use, you just gotta pick the same venue twice. I don't fucking know. To New York. Oh, that's a new way for. I can't speak. That's a new way for me to fail at a uh, New York here. That was fantastic. All right, let's try this again. And uh, not have that turn one incident happen again. We'll get to that. Oh, hello. How you doing? Alright, should be alright this time, so we're not going three wide into turn one. Okay, so. I did not slam into the corner of the... corner wall that time, thankfully. And absolutely destroy my car. Good. Did get a little rough with Rossi, or not Rossi, Sasaki there. Got some side damage despite hitting him in the front. I could have just kind of casually drove by... Uh, did I pass this? Yeah, casually drove by Sasaki down that straightaway. Can't remember if I passed him like before the exit of the turn or not. God, I'm I'm with it. I am so with it. You have no idea how much it I'm with. Anyways. Now for the fun part, trying to figure out when's the uh, smart time to break here. Okay, later than that. So hey, we're, uh, we're, we're driving the car that has posters plastered everywhere around here for it. And also uh, Sunset Peninsula, as I realized in the last segment. Bro, hot Hyundai Genesis, come on, sell, buy them, buy it, buy it. It's a car worth buying, trust me. I'm gonna put billboards of it in the game, and also the car itself. Actually, was it this game, or was it Forza 4 that had that free Hyundai DLC? The, uh, the Genesis pack, where it had, like, a... Like, a Toon Street version or something like that? then a drift version and then a uh, race version of the Genesis. I can't can't remember if it was this game or 4 that had that. It was a cool pack. The Genesis is actually a pretty good car. I, I enjoyed driving the race variant. Meanwhile, me winning, and no answer about the whole 
uh, Genesis pack from chat, which I was kind of hoping for. Someone should look it up. How many columns do I want to make races have? Just one. Just one column, one make races, and then there's two other race types for the uh, professional section. Balls in my face. Control issues, part 722. So yeah, there's only 10 one make series in this game. We're on the fifth one, I believe. We're on the fifth one, we're only up to D class. Okay, cool. We've done two in F, one in E, and now two in D class. It's beautiful. Now there's three columns in this like section of the game, but it's only uh, this one column that's specifically one make races, K boys. Spoiler alert for people who don't know how this game is structured. Oh no. Tons of speedway races. Sometime after professional, I think immediately after the professional section. We'll we'll get to that. That'll be an interesting ten segments right there. <laughs> ah. Holy shit, I just looked at my lead. I have 15 seconds ahead. Yeah, there, there's some waiting to do. Because this professional section is going to take a while. But with its, you know, hour-long series... Basically, this entire section will be give or take 30 hours. Hooray! God, I'm so far ahead, and there's still three laps to go. Tell this is going to be a super easy one. It's because I have my car in dark purple. It's, it's the dark purple paint makes this faster. It has been scientifically proven that if your car is painted in a really fucking good color, it goes even faster. I'm now thinking I probably could have caught the field here on my first attempt at this race. Oh well, that time has passed. Don't see a Genesis pack there. I... If you're looking in the store, it's not going to be there because there are there is no like Forza 360 DLC actually in the store anymore. Okay, I missed I missed the breaking point. Oh my god. Oh, I was not paying attention, and I completely missed the breaking point. Holy shit. Well, I guess it's a good thing I have, like, this 20-second lead. Let's see, I lost my right wing mirror. Everything in the front is just destroyed. Engines at 51%, trannies at 50, drive shafts at 31, nose of the car is completely dead, right front suspension is 
Halfway dead. I'm only making 134 horsepower here. This isn't PMG. Good, because if this was BMG, this car would be completely undrivable. I like how I got rear end damage from that head on collision. Oh, wait, 154, 55. Ooh, 157 horsepower, okay. In third gear, at least. Apparently, fourth gear is just not that lucky. Let me just make it worse. Yeah, there we go. Now the sides are completely dead. And before I have to do some blocking. Because they are catching me at a very alarming rate. Come on, limp to victory. Yeah, I got him. Okay. Well, that happened. Oh, shit. Okay. How much is this going to cost? <laughs> Jesus. More than the initial race winnings. That's how much it's going to cost to repair this. Like, holy damn. It was beautiful. So basically, if I had absolutely no difficulty mod like difficulty uh, bonus, I'd be uh, making a net loss from this race. That's fantastic. Okay, let's go to race two. <laughs> All right, here we go. Time for race two at Suzuka. And the good news is that if I do end up going off track, there will be grass to meet me instead of wall. So, if I do miss my breaking points, I have some, uh... Basically, my car won't be destroyed immediately. Thankfully. Oh, oh, how you doing, Yoshida? Don't mind me. Just giving you a little bump there. You're not out of my frickin' way. Oh no, too fast. Let me guess, K boys, you saw the uh, the X Timeless Gaming video of the GT4 cockpit view. It's a hey, game shark, bro. Oh god. Good morning, Ludo. Rise and shine. Oh wow, Takashi was actually giving me the lane. I'm a little bit surprised. And I fucked up the exit. No second for me, yet. I'm a good guesser. I only know that because uh, it was freaking linked in the uh, the HG d Discord. Plus, I look at his channel like every couple days or so because I do loosely follow his channel because he does cool things. He does what I want to do, except you know, on a much lower scale because he's not stupid like me. God, me stupid head. Nikes, okay, we're good. Good, everything's fine. Emerald, best Pokemon game of all time, is my favorite. I know that much. But yeah, Emerald is legit my favorite Pokemon. Oh my fucking god. 
I should really invest in a new 360 controller. I should really invest in a new 360 controller. Just, mm. I am really looking forward to Sun and Moon. However, like it looks like it's gonna be, it's gonna be different. Which is nice because it's gonna have like a different way of progressing. Which is cute. Just all the, you know, new content and stuff. Especially the fucking Alolan forms. The Alolan forms are great. Yeah, I remember Pokemon Go and then whatever the fucking name of the developer is ruined it. Now we're talking about Pokemon, I must bring it up yet again. Pokemon LP, still want to do it. I have a rough... I, I have a rough idea on when I will actually be able to do it. But that's still a long ways away. It's just... Mm. Niantic, thank you, K-Boys. Yeah, Niantic kind of ruined the game. Pokemon Go. I don't know. Like, for, I only read, like, things through, like, patches where they've, like, disabled some 30, uh, 30 third party, like, things to help with the game and taking out features and adding, I don't know. Other than that, it, it was just kind of a passing fad, pretty much. I, I don't know. Doing Nuzlocke, eh. They're way too overdone. I already have, like... I had that poll that I did, like, what? Three, four years ago? on the For the three first-gen games, so... I know one of them's gonna be a solo run, one's gonna be a monotype run, and then another one's gonna be, like, a specific team. A themed team. I never played Pokemon Go because I'm a fucking idiot who doesn't go anywhere. do a really hard racing game for an LP. I mean, I try my best on the difficulty. I mean, I did, you know, the Ridge, first three Ridge Racers. Those got really fucking hard, especially the Diablo GP and Rage. Ooh, the Diablo GP. Again, not my fault, Dale. Okay, it's partly my fault, because I'm like, I, I guess, better than shit. God, F0 GX. But yeah, I have this shit on the highest difficulty possible. It's just that I'm that much better than the AI. I have an idea for some games to do. 
I was oh, fucking controller. I was a little disappointed about how easy F1 2000 ended up being. Cause I'm like, all right, expert difficulty. This should be a fun challenge, and it wasn't. <laughs> Last on the grid, win by at least a lap every time. Ooh, Fast Racing Neo. That's actually a game I want to get for my Wii U. That looks cute. Uh, that's true. I did have that one race at the uh, the A1 ring, aka Red Bull ring, that was decided on like the last, the second to last corner. But that was just more my incompetence than anything, because I, I destroyed my car how many times that race? It, it was a lot. That was a nice last like second pass on Hockenden though. Hey Jamar, I'm all right. Other than that, F12K was fucking easy. Especially the Hockenheim race. The Hockenheim race was stupid. I like one by like what, two laps? Almost three. Oh yeah, and that one time I got stuck to the wall because I forgot that there was a fucking reverse button. I'm a freaking dummy. That was at Suzuka, wasn't it? So speaking of, <laughs> speaking of Suzuka, like I went that whole LP without knowing that there was a reverse button, and it took me forever to figure out that hey, there's actually a reverse button in the game. Since you couldn't downshift to it. So, what is my margin of victory here? 21 seconds, almost 22 over Takahashi. We managed to beat Sasaki. All right, cool. Well, two down, four to go. Okay, it's time for our first trip. <clears throat> first trip of two to uh, Maple Valley in this segment. Because why not do two races around here? about Monaco? What about Monaco? Monaco GP and F1 2000 was fucking ridiculous. Both because of the glitch that occurred, and because of the fucking insanity that occurred in the chat. Holy shit, how's that natural holocaust race? It was interesting. If you want to know more, you can watch the video conveniently on my YouTube channel. think after Sun and Moon series is going to end? Absolutely not. Like, Pokemon is Nintendo's number one franchise right now. There's no way in hell they're ending it after Sun and Moon. They're going to keep milking the shit out of the franchise until it either Nintendo goes completely bankrupt or something. Actually, even if Nintendo went bankrupt, I'm sure somebody would scoop up the Pokemon license and milk it further. As long as it's not Konami. Nope. Uh -uh. Hashtag fuck Konami.
Uh, even if they run out of ideas, the series will continue. I mean, they're already, like, kind of, like, creating new Pokemon with the old, with the whole Alolan form thing. So, you know. Nintendo is the most popular video game brand. Mm, not anymore. I would say that'd be more, uh... I don't know. Microsoft and Sony are kind of even with that, but... But we're almost at Pokedex number 1,000. Yeah, you think that's going to stop them? So you series, what is this series? This is the Hyundai Genesis Coupe Tour. It's not, you know, evident by the fact that I'm driving a Hyundai Genesis coupe. Plus the trading card game's still going strong. Bas basically, Pokemon's not dying anytime soon. Or ever, really. Yeah, Call of Duty's been out ideas for three years now. They're still going. Nice one, K-Boys. Nice meme. What is this gap Sasaki has on the rest of the field? He just freaking driven away from everybody else. Mario, I think he's. I mean, Mario did save the gaming industry, basically. After the crash, the great video game crash in 1983. Yeah. Mario's like the staple franchise, but Pokemon is like the biggest franchise. It may not be the mascot, but it's definitely Nintendo's biggest moneymaker. Honestly, they haven't really had many ideas for Mario since Galaxy 2. They've just been... Although they've been executing it very well, they've just been redoing the tried-and-true Super Mario Bros. formula. With the new Mario Bros. games and... Mario Party, Mario Kart... And... Uh... Didn't they release, like, a Mario Sports game recently? Where it's just, like... A pretty much a combination of all the other Mario sports games. I don't know. I remember seeing something like that. I don't know if that was, like, me being an idiot or what. Then there's the Mario 3D series, which is really good. Still have yet to play 3D World, but I really want to. But I can't find the time to. <laughs> Hey, we're halfway there. And I have a eight and a half second lead. Hooray. Switch will be the next video game crash. I really hope the Switch, like, doesn't fail just because. I don't know. I want a reason to buy it, aka I want a good game library for it. It was sad that the regular show is ending. I've never watched it, so I don't care. didn't like the switch. Eh. About the Battlefield series. It's alright. The only Battlefield game I've ever played was Bad Company 2. That's because I was peer pressured into buying it and playing with friends. It's 
Not even a Mario game could save the Virtual Boy Jamar. The Virtual Boy was just bad. Very, very bad. But anyways, Battlefield, yeah. Battlefield 1 looks interesting, but... I... It looks like it's a good game, but I have no interest in playing it. Plus, you know, it's it's a nice, uh... The whole World War One setting is a nice, uh... Change of scenery. In the, uh, the whole, you know, the subgenre of global warfare FPSs. So, yeah. Project Cars 2 for the Switch. <laughs> yeah, the blazing 28 FPS. Turns out you can plug your Switch into your steering wheel of your car and play the game like that. While driving your car. What is the Switch? New Nintendo console that was revealed, like, a few days ago. Like, there's a couple things that I'm really curious about the Switch. A, what's the game library going to be like? B, what's the battery life on that frickin' uh, portable screen going to be like? Now, that's the two major questions I have for the Switch. If the game library is going to be good, awesome. If the battery life on the portable screen is gonna be shit. Uh, that's not good. Yeah, I know about the N Nintendo 64 disk drive. I watched Did You Know Gaming. Anyways. Shut up, Ludo. Fuck your sarcasm. <laughs> LP cars. I still regret purchasing, pre-purchasing that game. Mm -hmm. Damn, slightly maddened or fucking disappointment. It's still a good game, but goddamn, it's a disappointment. Such a, such a disappointment. <sighs> Anyways. Enough about that. Meanwhile, back to this game. Hey, I went at Maple Valley Reverse. Our first of two Maple Valley stops. So, what's the margin of victory here? Lap time difference is five seconds. <laughs> it's okay, Ludo. I hate myself for getting hyped. Getting everyone hyped to pre-order that. Oh. Oh well. Anyways, I won by almost 23 seconds over Sasaki, who beat Sato, who finished third by 4 seconds. Can Sato up to third. So, we are halfway through the Genesis tour. Onwards to race 4. Okay, Road Atlanta. Hey, I said it the right name for race 4. So, here we go. Time for six laps around Atlanta. Well, the Atlanta area, I guess. Oh, pfft. It would help if I actually, like, attempted to pass the guys instead of just drive through them. Oh, 
a bunch of argy bargy behind me. I'm trying to look at it, watch it in my mirror. Looks like they've settled themselves a bit. Now all I have to pass is Sasaki here. Yeah, a little bit of damage from that hit. Shouldn't affect me much, since we, you know, we're still driving D-Class cars. Driving away. Schneider, okay, we're good. Yeah, I'm gonna record the next series after this. I want to at least make some progress tonight. It's gonna be a bit of a slog through, but. Like through these uh, professional series, but hey, we're gonna do it. And then we get to do shit, silly shit. Okay, boys, how dare you not stay till the end, Kappa? To the very end. Oh, hello, that's grass. Stay out of it, me. Hey, Miko. Miko, Miko, Muko, Mika hacking in. I don't know. up at 5.30. No, freak you, man. Remember the last episode of Dirt Today, Tona? I remember, oh dear. Guess Mako hacking in. Hey look, I'm a fifth of a mile ahead already. Whoa, what a fucking shock. Oh dear is probably the best, like, bonus unlockable thing ever in like, video games. It was fucking amazing. It's like, oh hey look, giant man. instead of car. Like, I like how it wasn't even, like, the car is replaced with just a, a, you know, one, like, a human model. It's replaced with a gigantic fucking human model. Which one is Extreme Draft? That was just Super Draft. Super Draft was great, too. Let's just shoot from 150 to 250 in, like, a nanosecond. Oh, 
while crashing and jumping and flipping through all the freaking cars because you're going way too fast. Oh, jeez. Have I played Sonic Riders? I haven't played uh, Zero Gravity. I've played the original Sonic Riders, though. Ten foot tall Elliot Sadler. It's more like fifty foot tall Elliot Sadler. Yeah, I've played the original Sonic Riders a bit. I'm fucking awful at it. Can't remember if I actually beat the camp like the campaign or not. I don't think I did. I think I was too bad at the game. I need to go back and play that, and then acquire Zero Gravity and play that. Free, free Riders, however, I will pass, because fuck the Kinect. If I could play with a controller, I'd play it, but <laughs> no, nope, fuck the Kinect. The only thing I care about out of Sonic Free Riders is the Crush 40 version of the, uh, like, the main song of the game. Cause, oh boy, is that a good cover. I'm so free in the wind, in the wind, etc. Zero Gravity uses... No, Zero Gravity uses a controller. Free Riders is the Kinect game. Zero Gravity... is not the Kinect only game. You are mistaken, my friend. Into the free, into the... Now I, now I have the song in my head. Thanks, Obama. Remember that meme from last year? That sure was a shitty meme. Haha, uh -huh, something mildly... Like, mildly, uh... Annoying happens. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> Anyways. One lap to go here at Road Atlanta. Shit, big slide. Oh, thanks. Uh, thanks, Obama might have been early 24. I don't remember when that meme was. I just remember it being a thing. I'm not good on the whole timeline of memes. Don't judge me. Okay, you may judge me, but I won't care. Which all hell shadow version do I like better? Probably Crush 40s. I don't think I've ever listened to the Magna 5 version of all hell shadow. Hey, Maj Dope. Long time no see. Treasure Hunter. Every time. Oh, I'm a fucking nerd. I do not watch the F1 YouTuber Championship. Most the only thing I've seen in the F1 YouTuber Championship is a, uh, like, a somewhat joke-ish review of it. Um, I think it was by Cook Productions. The only, that's, the only reason I know of that is because Motorsport 101. So... Yeah. 
But that's about it. Anyways, I went at Road Atlanta. We got two races to go in this fucking thing, so uh, let's move on to race number five. Okay, to Motegi we go for race number five of the Genesis Tour. So here we go. Five laps, oh god. I'm just gonna park the car. I didn't want I, I didn't want none of that. I don't want none. Yeah, I don't want none. So now I'm actually going to have to make my way through the field instead of just passing everybody on the start. Oh no, what a fucking daunting task. I had a feeling Kato would not give me the lane. I was not mistaken. Still made the pass though, so fuck you Kato. Get fucked, nerd. Oh shit, overshot the turn. But still completed the pass on Watanabe, okay. Phew, alright. It's bad you don't eat shit in the morning, so okay Ludo. I usually skip breakfast as well. By usually I mean almost always. I'm driving like garbage right now. Should probably stop doing that. Stay <sighs> nice and easy. Don't really need to force the issue. I got four laps to pass four cars. And their little freight train here. Gonna try to sandbag the entry here so I can get a good exit. Slide the car out. Still got a good exit though. So around not now Sato. Now we get to the color crew. The colorful ones of the bunch. Starting with Evans. Or not Evans, Yoshida. Evans is the European blue man. Wow, Yoshida, you're an asshole. Okay. Thanks for that, bruh. Better fucking give me the lane this time. Bitch. See you, Harry. Oh, we're sliding. And I somehow got a run on uh, Takahashi. I have no idea how. And there we go. One to go. And his name is Sasaki. American Dragon Jake Long. I remember that show. I don't remember watching it, I just remember it was a show. I don't think I ever watched it, though. I just know it was a thing. Yeah, 
Anyways, we made it to P1, three laps to go. Oh boy. Oh, shnikes. Whoa, big slide. Trying to figure out what those other two flags were next to that Japanese flag. Not entirely sure. That was way too early on the brakes. Only a two second lead, not for long. Watch YouTuber Championship, because Extreme Spaghetti, eh, I'll pass. Not really interested in it, to be honest. Fun at work, Ludo. Go make them dildos. Jokes, I have them anyways. This is not Nut Shack, bro. Nut Shack is the greatest cartoon ever. Don't don't you fucking hate? Because it's the nut shack. It's the dick shack. I got grapes. What you watching, son? I love how, like, the main rap in the Nut Shack just makes absolutely no sense. like, okay, hang on. It's like, here's the characters. Uh, hang on, let me take a hit of this dank kush. I have grapes. What are you watching? Excuse me. I don't get the Filipino, ghetto Filipino li lingo, so. It makes no sense to me. I was speaking of the Nut Shack meme, there's some one, a couple videos I've seen. Pretty great, where like, and just you know, the main repeating is the nut shack. They just completely remove the nut shack from it, so it's just it's it's 
and then someone decided to one-up that person, uh, made a video where it's just, it, 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 it's actually pretty great. just background noise. There's one where it just turns into white noise, basically. Then again, a lot of those just turn into white noise. <laughs> Bruce Campbell's the best Ash. God damn it. Caleb. Bruce Campbell is the finest man to grace the silver screen. Don't know the rest of the intro verse. Bruce Campbell, Bruce Campbell, we're going to be best friends. How are you doing, uh, engine glitch, or audio glitch? Oh yeah, th that one, K-Boys, where they take out all the nut shacks except the last one, and the last one is extremely loud. Remember that? And Motegi complete. Huzzar. I haven't said that in a while. It's like my catchphrase. <laughs> I don't know. Wouldn't have spun by almost 12 seconds. Cool, oh. So, that just leaves one race to go in the Genesis Tour, back to Maple Valley. Okay, end of the Genesis Tour, back to Maple Valley for a second trip. This time we're doing the forward direction, oh boy, for six laps. Because, you know, let's go to the same venue twice instead of going to six completely different venues. Boop, 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 uh, turn 10 logic. At least when it came to this game, turn 10 logic. Oh, what? Okay. Yoshida and Sato are having some, uh... Disagreements with where they want to put their cars. Somehow it's worked out for Yoshida. Siri is trying to pass Takahashi and succeeding. With maybe a little bit of assistance from me. Oh my god, I forget they break there. Takahashi got it's getting shuffled way back. Meanwhile, Sasaki's just up here, just be like, yeah, you know what, you guys go ahead and have your fun. I'm just gonna see if I can do anything about maybe having a slight chance of winning this. Oh shit, here he comes in the purple. Bouncy. And let's just swoosh around Sasaki here. Oh god, okay, we're good. Don't know why I downshifted there, didn't need to. Ah, oh, yeah, 
NS GT3 logic with the test course races. Of course, you know, the best one, fucking professional Vitz race, 10 laps around test course in stock Toyota Vitzes, because we're smart. Hoinky doinky. Wow, Jamar, picking the best songs from ATV Off for Fury 2 and you didn't even pick Science by uh, System of a Down. How dare you? It was an Offer Fury 2 and not 1, right? Science was in one of those games. It's a really good song. Okay. Science was in too. Good. Science is just such a good song. I actually haven't listened to SOAD in a while. Then again, I don't get to listen to much anymore. I don't get to do much anymore. Because ass. Everything sucks, my life is garbage, etc. Oh, jeez. Oh, day, it's like you don't like my singing. It's okay, I don't like my singing either. Alright, three to go at the Valley of Maples. Oh, shnikes. Okay, we're good. We're good. Everything is fine. I have a 12 second lead. Goddamn. Skin was a good one too. I don't even remember that song. Cause I'm stupid. Cause me dummy head and can't remember things. I think this was in one of the MX versus ATV games. But one song that comes to my mind right now, it's really good, is uh, "Wait" by Earshot. That's a really good song. Why is Rainbow Studios, like, well, back then, Rainbow Studios capable of having such great soundtracks? Seriously, some of the best licensed soundtracks in all of gaming? Why does it sound like I'm drifting through every turn? Because I'm fucking pushing these tires to their limit, that's why. They be squealing for grip. That was a bit of a slide. Of 
I remember when licensed soundtracks were a thing. I also remember when licensed soundtracks were good. <sighs> then there's, you know, the hit or miss ones. Like Underground series. That's when tires explode. Not in this game. Perfectly fine in this game. See? They're running at optimal optimal temperature. Off profits covered in the air tonight. Interesting. Something uh, one of my co-workers at Subway actually showed me today was Mudvayne did a cover of a song by the police that I've never heard before. It was really uh, interesting. And it was cool because Mudvayne is cool. Me likes me Mudvayne. Oh no, we're missing the turn. Oh shit. Balls. I really like this telemetry. It's like, here, you want all the information? Here you go. It's got camber, you got individual tire speed, you got temperatures, pressure, wear amounts, and then there's the freaking, yeah. Anyways. We are on the last lap here. And I have a very large lead. But who's surprised? No one should be. <clears throat> oh shit, what am I doing? Yeah, here's all the info, but you don't but you can't actually see where you're going. But still, here's all the info. Drift series, but I'm not even drifting. Yeah. So, what's this margin of victory going to be? Answer is 28 seconds. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. Kicked their ass in that race. Goddamn. Like, more than usual. So. <clears throat> there we go. The Genesis Coupe Tour complete. And we're now halfway through the one-make races. So. There we go. And next time on Forza 3, we're going to jump up not one, not two, but three classes. We're going to go straight from D class to A class as we race Ferraris in the next segment. So stay tuned 